We just concluded Operation First Light 2015, which was an operation that focused on social engineering related fraud schemes. It was organized by Interpol's Anti-Corruption and Financial Crime Subdirectorate in cooperation with the Lobang Office, which is based out of Bangkok, Thailand. The operation consisted of 23 participating countries, and in the result, 514 suspects were arrested and 15 call centers were shut down in countries such as China, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Indonesia. This initiative started in 2014 at Interpol with an export working group meeting that we organized. From there, we had Operation First Light 2014, which involved six countries and resulted in 22 arrests. In this year's operation, not only did we expand the number of participating countries, but the regions of influence. And we hopefully will expand it further in 2016 to cover the globe. Now, social engineering fraud is basically just a common term that we use for how the criminals can con victims out of their money. Specifically in Operation First Light 2015, it was basically involving telecom fraud and then also what's called CEO manager fraud. Well, as I mentioned before, Interpol has a, a holistic approach um, as we talk about social engineering fraud. We not only do the public awareness, as you can see with, uh, on our website on social engineering fraud, but we have expert working group meetings to talk about this problem and how law enforcement can mitigate the threat throughout the world. And then finally, we have targeted law enforcement operations such as Operation First Light that focuses on these type of fraud schemes throughout the world. Once again, I'd like to say it was a very successful operation and it's in cooperation with law enforcement agencies throughout the world that made this happen.